കരങ്ങൾ ഉയർത്തി ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കാം കർത്താവിന്റെ അതിപരിശുദ്ധ നാമം വാഴ്ത്തപ്പെടുമാറാകട്ടെ ഇന്ന് പകൽ ഇവിടെയുള്ള ദൈവമക്കളുമായിട്ട് ഒരുമിച്ച് ദൈവത്തെ ആരാധിപ്പാൻ സർവശക്തനായി ദൈവടിയാക്കിയ ഈ ഭാഗ്യപദവി ഓർത്ത് ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു ഇവിടെ ശുശ്രൂഷയിലായിരിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവിൽ ബഹുമാനിയ ദൈവദാസൻ ഫിലിപ്പ് ആദരണീയനും കർത്താവിൽ പ്രസിദ്ധനുമായ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ പാസ്റ്റർ പോൾ പാസ്റ്റർ പി ഡി രാജു മറ്റ് ദൈവദാസന്മാർ കടന്നുള്ള എല്ലാ ദൈവമക്കൾക്കും വേഗം വരുന്ന കർത്താവായ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ നാമത്തിലുള്ള സ്നേഹമാണ് also pastor paul pastor pd raju and all those who are gathered over here greetings to each one of you nyana moonu varshangalukku munbu ivada vanna susurichirundi church susurichirundu around 3 years ago i came here and ministered here anigirigamaya kootayama annu namakku kooduvan kartavu sahayichu and that time god and it was to have a blessed fellowship ende anubhava sachu oru 2 minute prasthavichitte deiva vanathilekku praveshikkan thalpariyapadukiyam and let me share a small testimony of mine and then we will enter into the word of god ayathulathi 70 galile pastor pd rajuvinde parents nan susurichittundirunnadaya bombara pmg sabile angangalayano in 1970s pastor pd raju's parents they were members of my church in kuambara kodi aa samayath apriyapettavade pastor ait seven ministry pandiyum bhagithanu and at that time god gave me the opportunity to be their pastor ele pera emme wagis ennana kattana dasan orpichathu and my name is pastor emme wagis as a pastor mentioned veettil vilikkunnathu chenannu kooda adu kondana kattana dasan pitti raju pastor jena jaya ennu vilichathu and at home they call me jen <coughs> ഡിസംബർ മാസം രക്ഷിക്കപ്പെട്ട സ്നാനപ്പെട്ട് ഈ പെന്തക്കോസ് വിശ്വാസത്തിൽ കടന്നു വരുവാൻ ദൈവം ഭാഗ്യം തന്നു and from an orthodox faith in 1969 god gave me the opportunity to get baptized and come to the pentecostal church ഞങ്ങളെ അപ്പനും അമ്മയ്ക്കും ഞങ്ങൾ 10 മക്കളാണ് and for our parents we are 10 children ഇന്ത്യ ഗവൺമെന്റ് പറയും ചെറിയ കുടുംബം സന്തുഷ്ട കുടുംബമാണ് the indian government would say a small family is a happy family ഞാൻ പറയും വലിയ കുടുംബം സന്തുഷ്ട കുടുംബം but i would rather say that a big family is a happy family കാര്യമറ്റൊന്നുമല്ല ഞാൻ ദേ അപ്പനും അമ്മയ്ക്കും 10 മക്കളിൽ എട്ടു പേര് പാസ്റ്റർമാരാണ് because for our parents out of the 10 children eight of us are pastors hallelujah hallelujah അതുകൊണ്ടാ പറഞ്ഞ വലിയ കുടുംബ സന്തുഷ്ട കുടുംബം and that's why i said a big family is a happy family ഇന്ന് ഓരോ കുടുംബത്തിലും ഒന്നേ നിക്കിയ ഒരെണ്ണം തന്നെ നിക്കിയ and today most families just have one child കൂടി പോയാൽ രണ്ട് and at the most they have two അത് കർത്താവിന് വേണ്ടി കിട്ടോ അതുമില്ല and they wouldn't even dedicate them for god എന്നാൽ ഈ അപ്പനും അമ്മയ്ക്കും പത്ത് മക്കൾ എട്ട് പാസ്റ്റർമാരെ ലഭിച്ചു but for my dad and mom they ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് <laughs> മൂത്തവളെ കുടുംബമായിട്ട് ഇവിടെ ന്യൂ ജേഴ്സി ഉണ്ട് and the oldest is in new jersey അവളുടെ ഹസ്ബൻഡ് ചർച്ച് കോഡിലെ പാസ്റ്റർ ആണ് and her husband is a pastor of church of god ഓടേൻ ദി പാസ്റ്റർ ആണ് and he is an ordained pastor ആ രണ്ടാമത്തെ മോളെ കുടുംബമായിട്ട് സൗദിയിൽ ആണ് and her second daughter as a family they are in saudi arabia അവളുടെ ഹസ്ബൻഡും അവളുടെ സൗദിയിൽ ദമാമിൽ പാസ്റ്റർ ആണ് and her husband is also a pastor in saudi dhamam moonamathe maalu dhirundathu njangalude pomunda and our youngest uh, she is with us in from andrew our infosys le it field work cheyidundikkum and she is working for a company named infosys in the it field yanu adhyapakan aayirunnu i used to be a teacher ah edapon pandalam edapon in pandalam edapon kattanam kattanam ah maavelikera bhs high school and mawalkar bhs high school ah adu kanya trivandrath government schools galil 
what do you want to do? And in various government uh, high schools in Trivandrum, I uh, God gave me the opportunity yeah, to do it. And it has been almost 11 years since I And it has been almost 11 years since I retired from that new job. So I'm not going to tell my age, but you can calculate that. And the subject that I used to teach is a subject that you all like very well. Mathematics. And it is math. And God gave me the opportunity to teach math for several long years. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God willing, we'll be going, I'll be going back to Dallas today afternoon. And God willing, I'll be coming back to Houston uh, by mid-February. March first week, I'll be going back to New Jersey. And the first week of March, I'll, uh, I'll be going back to New Jersey. And let us enter into the Word of God. Let us read a verse. The book of Obadiah, verse 18. That the house of Jacob will be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame, but the house of Esau will be as a stumble, but they will set them on fire and consume them so that there will be no survivor of the house of Esau. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Fighting him. And we know very well between the house of Jacob and the house of Esau, there, is, there are always fighting. And that is a fight which started right from their birth. And it is a wrestling that started right in the womb of their mother. And even today it is continuing. And there is a day that is to come when God is going to change the house of Jacob into a fire. Don't think that every day is going to be a day of trouble for you. In front of you there is a day when God is going to defeat the powers of Esau in front of you. And God is going to change the house of Jacob into a fire. And this fire is going to bring down the house of Esau. Understand that it is not the devil who is fighting against you who is going to win at the end, but rather you are going to receive the victory. Many a times you might wonder why is it that I am always in trouble? Why is it that the oppressions are not ending? But understand that every day of your life you are not going to face those oppressions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is a day when that situation is going to change. And my wife, when she came to face, she had to face a lot of oppressions. And from a martomite background, uh, she came to Pentecostal faith by herself. And her family was against her getting married into a Pentecostal family. But she stood strong for this faith. And I will tell you just one incident and you will understand how great was the oppression that she had to face. And uh, from her house, uh, the, the IPC church was very close. And her mother did not come for her daughter's wedding. 
and at the Martama parish hall was a reception. Avade, amma bandu. And the mother came for that. Tarai bandu yam nudiya. And I will just send it, and you understand us. Yella kala tum pida yam dani chedu. But don't think that you have to face oppression all through your life. Avite padare usnana purtan deyomi kai do kabagi bandu. But God gave me the opportunity to baptize many in that family. Ah, bhavan tuli yenda kile misiya mandal. Avar jangla yana bolli ke bandu. And if there is any issue in that family, they call us. ദൈവത്തിന്റെ <laughs> <laughs> മൂന്ന് തീകൾ നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ കഴിയും we see three different fires അത് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതമായിട്ട് താരതമ്യപ്പെടുത്തി നമ്മൾ അത് ചിന്തിക്കുക and this morning let us think about how we can compare that with our life ആദ്യത്തെ തീ and the very first fire രണ്ടാമത്തെ തീ ആയ അഞ്ചാമത്തെ വാക്യം chapter 2 verse 5 of zechariah zechariah 2 and 5 ആ അതിന്റെ ഒരു നിയമം ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും ആ ഞാൻ എന്തിനാണ് മറി യഹോവയായ ദൈവം പറയുന്നു ഞാൻ അതിനെ ചുറ്റു ഒരു തീമതിലായിരിക്കും ഫോർ ഐ ഡിക്ലയർസ് ദ ലോർഡ് വിൽ ബി എ വോൾ ഓഫ് ഫയർ അറൗണ്ട് ഹെർ പ്രൈസ് ദ ലോർഡ് ദൈവവേദനെ നിന്റെ കഴിവ് കൊണ്ടോ മിടുക്ക് കൊണ്ടോ അല്ല നാം നിൽക്കുന്നത് ഓർ യു ഷാൾ ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് റിമെമ്പർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ബികോസ് ഓഫ് യുവർ എബിലിറ്റി ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ സ്റ്റാൻഡിംഗ് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ പ്രൊട്ടക്ഷൻ സംരക്ഷണം അവൻ നമ്മുടെ ചുറ്റ് ഒരു തീയായി തീമതിലായി എത്തിരിക്കുന്ന ലോർഡ് But it is because God has set a wall of fire around us, and that has been our protection. So let us praise God for that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What is that? Pisaja. Devas and their character. One saint and entered into the presence of God. You are the most strong man of the age. But how can I get that? We read that in Job chapter one and verse ten. Devas and their character. And God asked Satan, "Where are you coming from?" Over in the womb, he was going around the earth and came here. And Satan answered, "I have been going around the earth and I came here." Yet the last night, you have been in the dusty with Job. And did you cast your eyes upon my servant Job? He said, "You are not satisfied with my word." And this is the answer that Satan gave. He has been searching, has been searching, has been searching. And he answered, because you have set a wall around him, what can I do against him? And how many of you understand that God is a wall of fire around us? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And that's the reason why Satan could not touch you. And we could have been destroyed so long ago. ഇവരെ <laughs> <laughs> ശിവകാശിയിൽ നിന്ന് എസ് പി ജോഷുവ എന്ന പേരിൽ അറിയപ്പെടുന്ന ഒരു പാസ്റ്ററെ ഞാൻ തുളാണ്ടത്തെ കൺവെൻഷനിൽ ശുശ്രൂഷിപ്പാൻ കൊണ്ടുവന്നു and i brought a pastor from uh, tamil nadu place called sivagashi his name is uh, sp joshua to minister at a convention adeyathinte aadithe per sukhaya pralayam 
and his original name was Subaya Pillai. And he used to do a lot of witchcraft. And he was a witchcraft who used to do a lot of witchcraft against people. And a man came across uh, Subaya Pule uh, to uh, giving an address of a person and, uh, and the money for him. And he said, You have to kill the person mentioned in this paper. Okay, And uh, this, this witchcraft said, you go home before you reach your home, this man is, will, will die. And Subaya Pule, uh, he went into the puja room. And there are four different powers that he served. And he sent uh, the, 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 the smallest of those powers to that house. And I know the names of all those powers whom he served, but I don't want to mention it here. But this power, the spirit that he sent, went but could not do anything and it, and it returned back to them. And this man, uh, he started wondering, it never happened to me before. And always I used to send this spirit and it does what I asked him to do. But what's the reason that I'm not able to kill this man? And then he sent a more, a more powerful spirit to destroy that man. And even that spirit could not do anything to him. And he started to doubt again. And then he sent the most powerful of the of, of, of the gods that he was serving. And then he told the other power that whatever the spirit is doing, you have to write it over here on this wall. And now he is watching what is happening over there. So this spirit that he sent reached the house of the man who was to die. And that house is on fire. And this power whom he had sent is not able to enter into that house. And the spirit is just wandering around that house. But this house is on fire. And after a while the man whom he is trying to kill came out of the house. And the spirit whom he had sent is now very happy. And uh, because the, the, the man came out of that wall of fire, and the, super, the power whom Subaya Pillai sent, it came to went after this man and is trying to kill this man. But this man is also on fire. But this man is also on fire. And he can this power cannot even touch him. The power cannot touch him. And the Subhayopala asked the spirit but just with him and showing whatever is happening there. Why is it that I cannot kill him? And with, with the tail of, of the spirit it rode on that wall that this man is a true Christian. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And let me tell you that we are from the castles, so let that true fire, because we are true Christians, let that fire come down here this morning. Shall we clap our hands and praise God? In the spirit, in our tongues, let us praise Him this morning. Hallelujah. We are not just ordinary Christians. And I, 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 I greatly rejoice that I am a Pentecostal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stotra, 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 stotra.
One God is a wall of fire around us. All through the last year, he was a wall of fire around you. Around your wealth, around your finances, around your house and your children, he was a wall of fire. In Psalm 127 and verse 1, it says that the Lord does not uh, uh, guard the city, the, the, the gods are guarding in vain. Let us thank God that He has been a protection around us. Even though we cannot see that with our naked eyes, understand that the devil knows this. The devil knows this very well. Satan cannot touch us because there's a wall of fire of God around us. Otherwise, long ago we could have been perished. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The second fire. Chapter 3, verse 2. And another portion can read chapter 3, verse 9. Because it's the same fire being mentioned here. The Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuke you, Satan, and indeed the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. This is not a brand plucked from the fire. Chapter 30, verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire, refining them as silver is refined. Just like silver is refined in the fire, we are also being refined. And what does that signify? And it is the fire of trial. Don't ever think that you will never face trials in your life. Don't ever think that you will be joyous all through your life. There are trials that you will have to face. But even in the midst of those trials, he is an ever-present And he will never forsake you in the midst of those trials that you have faced. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God had enabled me to establish many churches in Kerala. Before coming to this country, I went to the state of Orissa, spent two weeks there. And in the midst of those uh, big jungles, we have churches uh, uh, in, in those villages. And in, the, in those tribal villages where Maoist people are there, we have uh, many churches. A few years ago, uh, the Maoists, they killed one of our pastors. And I was able to meet his wife and the children. And you all know that the Christians were persecuted in the place called Kandahar. And the people from there, they, the Christians, they ran and they came to this village where we are working. And they all are worshipping God in that church. And we met them. Don't ever think that all your life you have to face those trials. And the religious, the Hindu extremists, they, they have called me to kill me. Because I went to the Hindu families to preach the gospel to them. But God gave me the opportunity to baptize many Hindus. 
And I was able to baptize many Muslims. And don't think that they are just uh, small business people. And God gave me the opportunity to baptize a judge in Trivandrum, a Muslim man. And at those times, uh, the, the winds of oppression came against our lives. And the, the fire of trials can come in your life. And many times you may have asked God, oh, after eating all these medicine and visiting all these doctors, why is it that I'm still sick? I have fasted and prayed for such a long time, but why is it that the situation of my family has not changed? Or you child of God remember that those trials of fire would come into your lives as well. But why is it that God lets us go through the through that fire? So that you will go through that fire, get refined like silver, and come out more beautiful than and God desires that you will go through that fire and it will bring you out more beautiful than ever. And if you rejoice in God, let's Hallelujah. The third fire. Chapter 12 and verse 6. And in that day I will make the clans of Judah like a fire pot among pieces of wood and a flaming torch among sheaves. And here we read that God wants to change each and every one of us into a torch of fire. And he is going to turn us into a flaming torch. And do you know why? So that you can uh, uh, you, 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 you can put fire to Ane, many pieces of wood. So that you can put fire to many other souls. And you desire to change us into flames of fire, the torches of fire filled with the Holy Spirit. Or the child of God, He wants to change you into a torch of Holy Spirit. Fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that you can bring fire to many people. So that you can burn many pieces of wood. And he wants to change you into a flame, a torch of fire. How many of you can pray this morning? Oh God, change me into a torch of fire. Change me into a torch of fire. And your age is not at all a problem for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he can change any person into a torch of flaming fire. And he has a plan to change us all in the torch of the Holy Spirit fire. And my time is ending here, but I want to pray for you. And God wants to change his people into a torch of flaming fire. And how many of you eagerly desire and ask God for that? Oh God, change me into a flaming torch of fire. Oh God, change me into a flaming torch. In the city of Houston. And within, within the western Indies of the city. And wherever God you are going to send me, change me into a flaming torch of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we close our eyes for a moment? Hallelujah.
മൂന്ന് തീകൾ സെക്രിയാ പ്രവർത്തനത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ ചിന്തിച്ചു and we thought about the three different fires from the book of prophet zechariah ഒന്ന് ദൈവ നിനക്ക് ചുറ്റും ഒരു തീ മതി and number one god is a wall of fire of protection around you രണ്ട് തീയുടെ ശോധനയിൽ കൂടി ദൈവം നിന്നെ കടത്തി വിടും and number two god will send you through the trials of fire മൂന്ന് നമ്മെ ഓരോരുത്തരെ അവൻ തീ പന്തമാക്കി മാറ്റാൻ പോവുകയാണ് ദൈവത്തിന് വേണ്ടി കത്തി ജ്വലിച്ച് പ്രകാശിക്കുക നിന്നെ അവൻ തീ പന്തമാക്കാൻ പോവുകയാണ് ദൈവത്തോട് പറ കർത്താവ് എന്നെ നീ ഒന്ന് തുടങ്ങണമേ Can you ask God God would you touch me this morning? Yenne ne yor de patam akaname. God would you change me into a flaming torch? Aa rakichumo avare deivam de patam akara pogeya. And if you decide that God is going to change you into that flaming torch. Alleluia. Alleluia. Nee aithe na idan varu. Where will God send you? ദൈവത്തിനെ തീപ്രന്തമാക്കി ഉപയോഗിക്കാൻ പോകുകയാണ് കർത്താവെ എന്നെ ഒരു തീപ്രന്തമാക്കണമേ ചുറ്റും നീ ഒരു തീ മുതലായി നിൽക്കണമേ തീ കൂടി കറുത്തി വിടുമ്പോൾ അവിടുന്ന് എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടി വാദിക്കുന്നതിനായി സ്ത്രോത്രം and even when you take me through that for, for fiery trials god you are there with me kattaleya thichulayam talarnu pogadirikkan so that even when i go through the fiery trials i will not get tired in the mother prathane avashyapadana jeevanangal and those who desire that prayer avarude valudu karangal uyarthi pidikka if you raise your right hands now avanne devu thipandamaakkan poriya he is going to change you into the flaming torch avanne devu thipandamaakkan poriya he is going to change you into the flaming torch avanne devu thipandamaakkan poriya ഗ്രഹത്തെ ഒരു തീയാക്കി മാറ്റും God you will change the house of Jacob into a fire. Yes, our gargate ni or stable ki matum. You are going to change the house of Esau into a stable. Amen, it here adine kattikum. This fire is going to burn it up. Mal mai ki karmiya kiya. പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവരോട് പൊരുതി നിൽക്കുന്ന അന്ധകാര ശക്തിയെ ഇന്ന് പകൽ യേശുവിന്റെ നാമത്തിൽ ശാസിക്കുകയാണ് ദൈവത്തെ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കാം 